Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chandrika and this is Rika Life. So um, you've been seeing me making mandalas, blankets, beanies, a um, whole bunch of things. Um, I haven't actually shown you some wearables. Um, I don't usually make wearables. Uh, I've made, actually I forgot to bring it, but I made um, a top for my daughter and then I made a poncho for myself and I made something on a t-shirt for myself, a top for myself. So I wanted to share two of those with you today because I forgot to bring the one I made for my daughter. So I will show you one at a time. Um, this is the poncho that I made. Sorry, everything is getting messy now, of course. Okay, this is the poncho that I made. And this is, um, this yarn is Karen Simply Soft in Sunshine, I believe. Um, this is a granny square poncho. Of course, I made this a couple years ago, so I don't know that I can find the pattern right now, but it's, um, it's just a, I think a single crochet or a half double crochet border. And then it is, um, granny stitches, <laughs> granny going all the way along and it creates this poncho. Um, I've worn it a couple times, but I haven't, um, worn it as much as I'd like to. Um, I do live in a pretty warm climate, so let's see. Um, so that's the poncho that I made. And then I wanted to show you, I bought this t-shirt. It says speak only with love. It's just a regular t-shirt. Um, I'm guessing it's a cotton t-shirt. And this was back in 2020. Um, and what I did is, if I can get it up there. I made this on the bottom of the, sh the shirt. So let me just fold it up so I can show it to you. I want you to be able to see the detail. Sorry. Camera angles. This is what I made. This is not from any pattern. I, um, you can see here, I stitched onto the shirt, onto the top, and then created my own pattern going down. I think it's pretty. This is using uh, Hirschner's Willow Yarns in the way it's called Rise. And this is in the color ballet. It's, um, I was really obsessed with this yarn back in 2020 and I bought a whole bunch. So that's what that top looks like. It does make this top a little bit heavy, but um, I think it's still a really fun top. It's a very long top which is fine, um, but I need to uh, wear that more often as well. So those were the two wearables that I wanted to show you. And in my last video, I promised that I'll show you some of the yarn from my yarn closet. So I pulled out my Red Heart Unforgettable. So this is the first one, my Red Heart Unforgettable. Uh, I have one here that's open. So this is the color Heir heirloom. Um, that's what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. So it has gradients of pink, kind of grays, um, a bunch of different colors. Um, I have 10 of them. It uses a J or six millimeter hook. It is 270 yards, 3.5 ounces. It is a medium weight four, 100% acrylic, machine wash and dry. Um, so this is a uh, roving yarn and I've used uh, quite a lot. I had, if I can find a picture, I'll put it here. Um, I have found this yarn on sale before too and I bought a whole bunch. I made a bunch of scarves. I made, um, yeah, I made two different types of scarves. If I can find those pictures, I'll put them here. There's a Queen Anne lace scarf. And then the other one, I'm not sure what it's called, but if I find the pictures, I'll include them in this video. Um, so I, that's the one color that I have. 
And then the other color that I bought is called Red Sea. And that's what it looks like. I have one out I can show you. That's what it looks like. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my God. I love these colors. This color makes me so happy. It's literally what it looks like on the screen. Blues and reds and purples and just, oh, so much gorgeousness. It's all the exact same stats. These are both the same yarn, just different colorways. I have 10 of each. I didn't realize they were packed in packs of three, otherwise I would have gotten 12, but that's fine. Um, I'm likely going to make the same scarves. Um, I'm, I don't know, or maybe I'll make a blanket. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, this is roving yarn. So it is a little buzzy. That's just, it has a halo. Um, I've actually had, uh, not many issues with this yarn. Um, it hasn't changed too much in its consistency. And um, I haven't really had any problems with frogging or splitting. So I definitely recommend this yarn. Um, this purchase was made from Hirschner's. Uh, they had it on sale for $2.99 or $3.99. I can't remember now. Um, they, I think um, Hirschner's is discontinuing Red Heart Unforgettable. I'm not sure if it as a line is being discontinued, but I snapped, snatched it up. <laughs> And um, I'm really excited to make things. These are the two colors beside each other. So you can see this is a little bit more antique looking, a little bit more um, elegant looking. And this is a little bit like bright in your face. But they're both so beautiful. And I'm really going to try to find the pictures of the things I've made with these yarns so that you can see. Um, this was the first type of roving yarn I bought like this. Um, after that... Sorry, I bought, I've also bought, um, is it Line Brown Landscapes? Um, and I made a couple of scarves out of those two. I think in that I only had one or two colorways. It's a very similar yarn to this. And then now Michaels has its Loops and Threads Facets yarn, uh, which I made a couple of scarves out of as well, which is pretty much the same consistency as, um, as these two yarns. So it just has a different colorways. I know a lot of other um, crocheters and yarn enthusiasts have been talking about um, the fact that a lot of these yarns seem to be exactly the same. They're just being sold by different brands under different names with different colors. Um, there's likely some truth to that because, you know, a lot of the mills are, are coming from the same countries, whether that's Turkey, China, India, um, most of the yarns are made in those places and, um, yeah, I'm sure there's duplicates and I'm sure there's, you know, a whole bunch of fun stuff happening behind the scenes, but yeah. Um, I have three shopping carts right now. I have one on Joanne. I have one on Michael's. I have one on Hirschner's. <sighs> just can't stop buying yarn. It's so pretty. The colors are just I don't know what other art form where you just are bombarded with so many colors and so many possibilities. I just, the colors just make me swoon. Like I'm just so in love with the amazing colors that are out there. So there are a bunch of different yarns I want to try out. Um, and I have things in my cart. <laughs> Let's see what happens. At some point I will try them. I have a whole ton of yarn to work through right now. Um, but yeah, I'm just always so excited by the colors. The, the artist in me is just awakened and I just want to keep creating and always looking for new patterns, always looking at old patterns I've made, my favorites. <sighs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe and definitely leave me a comment. I hope you have a wonderful crocheted day and I'll see you again soon.